Hello, it's Eliza Bloom Robinson here with day number nine of healing energy for the world. Today we're talking about today, we're activating the energy of deep listening. I started this 40-day uh, healing energy for the world as a divine inspiration sort of landed in and went, oh yeah, that's beautiful. And it's sort of twofold. There are a couple of things going on here. First, obviously, we are um, activating those energies in ourselves, which is actually doing a healing on our own beings, which is always lovely, right? And as we activate that in our own being, in our own selves, we can then expand it out. And we're actually permeating and penetrating and enfolding the world with these healing energies. So it's much more about activating and expanding and then embracing as opposed to sending out. And I always wanna say that because there's a lot of energies, there's a lot of work that is about really activating and then sending something outside or receiving something out. But what I wanna really point out in the work that I do is it, is it comes from within and it comes from within when you dive deep into the center of your being, you connect with that which is greater than us. So it's through us, not separate from us. But when we tap into that place, then the energy that we can call God or spirit or, or healing or creation or whatever your word is, then that can emanate out from us. And that's what changes frequency and changes vibration the quickest in my experience. So when I was thinking about deep listening, I want to just mention a couple of things before we just activate that. Deep listening is, when you hear that in healing energy for the world, you think, or I think, right? Oh, I need to go listen to my enemies, the people I disagree with. And that's important. But what's more important today and what we're activating today is deep listening first to our own heart, to our own soul. What is it that you need? Maybe it's rest, maybe it's play, maybe it's fun, maybe it's food, maybe it's water. Maybe it's connection. And from that place of learning and activating a deep listening to our own body first, that enables us to listen more deeply to the people we're talking with, to the people we're connecting with, and out on into the world. But if we don't learn how to listen deeply to what's going on in our own body, then we will never be able to listen deeply to what's going on in the world. And so it is a art, it is a practice, it is a particular frequency. And so we're gonna activate the energy frequency of deep listening first within our very own being. And so if you're comfortable closing your eyes, that's fine. If you want to keep your eyes open, that's fine. So just take a deep breath in. And bring your awareness from the outer to the inner. That means from the outer world, the news, the noise that's out here, to write down in your own body, become aware of your body. How's your head feel, your neck, your shoulders, your chest, your belly, your back, your hips. Bring your awareness down into your hips. How are your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet? Connect your feet down to the ground. Open your palms. And bring your full awareness down into your hip area. The reason we access the hips is because that access is a deep part in our own being, in our own physical body. And from that place, it's a very easy, gentle slide up into the spiritual heart, which is the point of divinity, the point of oneness with creation. So land there now. And become willing to deeply listen, not to what you want to hear, but to what's really happening. Listen deeply. What's going on in your own body? What does your body need? What does your body desire? Listen deeply. Not 
looking for, you know, personality desires so much as we're looking for um, a deeper, like what is your heart, what is your soul, what is your physical body deeply desire? Listen deeply. Might be rest, might be food, might be water, might be connection, might be laughter, might be fun, might be play. I know a lot of you are entrepreneurs. We have a tendency to overwork. What does your body, what does your soul, what does your heart deeply desire? Listen. Listen deeply. From that place of beginning to listen to your own being, bring the idea of listening deeply and begin to expand that out. We're not listening for any specific answer right now in this healing portion. We're just activating the energy and the frequency of being willing to listen deeply. Imagine that every person in your family cultivated the art of listening deeply. Imagine if every person in our country, in our government, activated the practice but also the skill, the art of listening deeply to a deeper vibration, to a deeper awareness, to a greater, grander perspective. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm listening to birds. Imagine that every soul on this planet, every single person in every continent in every country in every religion in every race in every aspect of anything you can imagine we're able to listen deeply to each other to our planet to that which we call God or spirit or love feel the energy of listening deeply has a certain frequency to it. And in that frequency, when we listen deeply, we can ask what's underneath that and what's deeper than that. And listening can become deeper and deeper and deeper. So activating, basking in the healing energy of deep listening. that energy and frequency expands and permeates and penetrates the world, the planet, the earth. Feel it encircling the globe, coming right back down into your own heart and deeply listen to your own soul. What do you notice when you activate the vibration of listening deeply? Whether you're watching live now or you're watching the recording, I would love to hear from you. What did you experience? What did you notice? Were you surprised by anything? Were you inspired by the idea of listening deeply to take a different action perhaps? I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson, transformational catalyst and spiritual healer. I have now opened up a new opportunity for a soul clearing session. It's a beautiful mix. It's a sort of a, a, a coming together of chakra clearing and soul attunement. 
And so I put my, my link there. I would love to offer that to you. And um, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for the next day in 40 days of healing energy for the world. Oh, namaste.